Okay, we're back. Uh, turned out I had to move along the uh, main story for the Institute a bit. I knew Dr. Higgs but, um, but I didn't think he would go this far. Okay, whatever. Uh, so, we're back here. Um, don't know what the Newton Verily means. But uh, today yeah, is whatever. But uh, we've got a quest marker here, so we're going to go and speak with Hilda again. And yep, there she is. Hey there. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. This is the most outrageous, bizarre act of nepotism I've ever seen. What on earth could Father be thinking appointing you as director? There are dozens of people more experienced than you. Ha. Huh. I'm a. I'm in charge now. <laughs> ha, I'm in charge now, sorry. I don't want to run this place. If you have a problem, leave. Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. Uh, I'll be nice. Father believes in me. The least you can do is give me a chance. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Given that you're the new director, I suppose you'll be wanting a breakdown of the research I've been conducting. You'll be pleased to know the data you brought me from the memory den worked perfectly. I've been able to link the chair and the computer. Good. In order to view the memories, I'm going to need a volunteer. I was hoping you'd do the honors, Director. We can start whenever you're ready. As long as it doesn't scramble my brains! Hold on, I have some questions first. Uh, not right now. Why involve me in this? Let's get started. Uh, uh, Hold on. Questions. I have some questions first. Ask questions. away. Questions. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. Where was I? Don't get me wrong. I shopped around to make sure robotics was where I wanted to work. I spent a bit of time in bioscience, talking to the staff there. I did a week's works experience in advanced systems. I briefly looked into logistics, but I found it to be devoid of personality. The less said about SRB, the better. I think I spent an hour in there before I decided I didn't like it. It was really scary, and everyone there was so serious. Okay. That was all I had. You don't want anything else? Uh, why involve me? Why involve me in this? I just thought you'd be interested to see the results of my research. You are the director after all. What do you say? Uh, let's do it. Let's get started. All right then. The chair is in my quarters. If you'll follow me in there, I can give you a rundown of what to do. I think we're in your quarters. The chair is right there. Okay, and uh, we'll turn on that quest. Okay, we're we're in here. Talk to me. Excuse me. Is your husband in the way? Yep, he was. Okay. Now will you talk to me? Hi. No. Do something. Anything. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Okay. If you go to my storage cupboard, you'll see a metal box. Inside it are five hollow tapes, each containing a downloaded memory. Pick whichever one you want and upload it to the terminal next to me. Then hop in the sim chair and we'll see what it holds. Before I forget, I locked the box, so you'll need to use this key. Let's get to it. Thank you. And that is over here, I do believe. Yep. Memory box! Okay, so prototype memory. I'll grab them one at a time and pop them in. Eh. Well, yeah, yeah, that way I don't get confused on which ones I've done and which ones I haven't, because I don't know if it uh, will mark them in some way. Okay, got number one. Tape. 
where is it? 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 Is that one? Ooh. Prototype memory. 25677 scan performed by Dr. Richard Wilson under supervision of project leader Dr. Yo Delavan. Delavan. Memory details. Subject Sarah Ryan. Date of scan 6 January 2077. Gender female. Relationship status single. Occupation scrapper. Ethnicity Caucasian. Okay. Load memory. There it goes. Loading memory. Memory ready. Memory ready. Ready subject for transfer. Okay. Jerry-rigged sim chair. I'm surprised more people haven't done stuff with this, but, uh, yeah. try and interrupt her. Okay, so uh, I should have clicked on the uh, girl uh, while we were in the memory. I didn't, and then uh, my game froze up. So we're going to try this again. Hopefully I don't get another freeze. So let's do this. So yeah, I can't click on her. They'll be laughing on the other side of their faces when I sell the stuff at the markets. You know, I think I'm gonna make this a weekly adventure. Give it a few months and I'll be rolling in money. Why is there blood on the floor? That this this happened earlier. So off camera, uh, when I was appointed uh, director, someone got up from a chair, and there's a bunch of blood on the chair. Now there's a bunch of blood right here. What's going on? Why why is there random blood? Anyways, uh, what did that say? Uh, find the salvage in. Oop, find. Find the salvage in the Scrap Queen vessel. Discover the fate of Sarah Ryan. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So, let's talk to her. Hey. I'm over here. That was so exciting, wasn't it? It worked just as I expected. That salvage ship must have been carrying all kinds of scrap. I bet the right sort of person could put that to good use. It's just a shame. Running the memory seems to have degraded the tape beyond use. There was a whole life on that tape. A whole personality to study. And now it's gone. Ah, never mind. We still got four more to look at. You're not having second thoughts about this. Is there a problem? Let's get on with it. This is making me kind of uncomfortable. Um, is there a 
problem? Is that a problem? No, it hardly matters. The people in the memories are dead and gone. We could never bring them back. The most we could have done was make a machine which thought was the person whose memories it had. You're not having second thoughts about doing this. Oh, no. Not at all. I'm getting all the data I need from the memories. It hardly matters that the tape is broken now. The people in them are dead, and we could have never brought them back. They would only be machines who thought they were people, remember? Uh, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. That's the right attitude. Don't let those damaged tapes bother you. What I'm learning is much more important. Now that we've looked at one of the memories, I've established the chair is working. I've set the computer up to take readings automatically. That means you're free to look at the other memories in your own time. You don't need me to monitor them. Have fun. Okay, uh, so uh, let's go explore, find where uh, this scrapper queen was, and um, yeah. Anywhere around can get a burger around here? Not around here. Not going to. Uh, I don't care about the kidnapping. Good afternoon. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, broadcasting across the Commonwealth. All quiet here. Stay tuned for minute men alerts. Okay, good. Did activate it. But yeah, so it's somewhere way out there. And yes, we are at the castle. Um, so we're gonna have to swim there. Ready, guys? New pep stop floating. Let's go. This might be our boat. I am almost dead from radiation poisoning. Awesome! If I can jump up onto this easily. Yep, scrap queen. Whew. Okay. Let's uh, get some rat away. Or actually, I know that some. Yep. Ah. Okay. Go below deck. Never a pop. Okay. I'm alone. This is not absolutely creepy. Get some burn books. Captain's Terminal, let's read this. Scrap Queen Terminal, welcome Captain Ryan. Captain's Log. Entry 1. I've done it. I've quit my job and bought myself a boat. I'll give... It'll give me time to work on my writing and earn a little money on the side. My mother begged me not to do it, but I... I'll, pro I'll prove her wrong. I'll prove all of them wrong. Entry 2. I've got this place set up, ready for the first outing. I've cleared out the below deck area to store anything I find. I've hidden the key in the storage compartment I found in the wall under the bed. Holy ship! I've dragged the net across the bottom of the ocean and I pulled up an unbelievable amount of junk. I filled all my crates. Tomorrow morning I'm 
going to hit the markets and get this stuff sold. I could be rich before I know it. Screw writing this novel. All my ideas were terrible anyways. Sold the scrap for a bundle. Going to keep coming back every week. Going to try to make more progress on my stories. The hatch to the below deck area has been sticking. Need to make sure I keep it propped open if I'm ever down here. Pulled some cool tech out of the water. Took it to CIT to get it looked at. Didn't get paid, but they gave me a free full body scan to help detect illness. I'm in peak health apparently. Still pulling good stuff out of the water. Business is going well. There's a terrible bang outside and a huge wave dragged me into another ship. I'm taking on water. I have to save the crates in the below decks. And that was when the bombs hit. So, story ideas. Uh, murder mystery. Woman kills husband on suspic suspicion of having an affair. Scrapped to generic. Sci-fi. Man frozen in cryo seas. Son kidnapped. Wakes up years later to try and find him. Discovers son is now an old man. Scrapped to... F too fanciful. <laughs> hey, that's the story of the game. Okay, so there's a safe under there, apparently, scrap queen's key, she said something about the below decks, there we go. on a little bit of water, not much. Oh, she's dead. And decent amount of uh, junk for uh, building stuff. What? Why, why would she find a... Uh, whatever. This game sometimes... So I believe the loot in the crates is auto-generated, and uh, the way that this game is made, it sometimes puts stuff in crates that really shouldn't be there, like Deathclaw hands in a pre-war boat that has been locked for 200 years. And uh, I just locked that one. Okay. Um... Is there anything on her? Just the captain's hat. Okay. Well, I'll let you keep your hat, and we will go back and check out the next memory. Is that a handprint? That's a handprint. Why is there a handprint on the wall? That's... that's kind of disturbing. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> okay, so loaded the next tape. Uh, Prototype memory, 10-1977, scan performed by Dr. Steve Harding under supervision of project leader Joe Delavan. Uh, okay, I'll s probably not read those anymore, but... Uh, memory details, subject Malcolm Jensen, date of scan, 10th October 2077, uh, gender male, relationship status married, occupation self-employed, ethnicity, British English. Okay. Let's load it. Load it. There we go. Okay. Get in. or something like that. You mean like pirate treasure? Does X mark the spot? Is that what you were thinking? 
No, it's just... Then let's get digging. We've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, it's getting late. Don't you think we should leave it until next week? And... You're not going to let this go, are you? Fine, we'll come back. This treasure's wasted a thousand years. I suppose it can wait another week. Okay. Again, I can click on them. Okay. Malcolm Jensen. Discover the fate of Malcolm Jensen. Find Malcolm Jensen's treasure. We're going treasure hunting. Awesome. And, um, okay. So apparently I need to have, uh, Oh, <laughs> uh, I hope this doesn't take me into Nuka World. Uh, so yeah, apparently I need to go to uh, um, Far Harbor. Awesome. So, we'll see you guys there in a moment. <laughs> okay, so it turns out that it's not in Far Harbor. Uh, it's just in the very, very northern part of the map. And, uh... This guy standing over here. I don't know who he is. Hello, sir. Are you friendly? No, you are not friendly. There we go. Okay. So, uh. Here it is, the cave. <laughs> Let's go inside. Okay. Oh, hello. Right now you're friendly. Hello. You're not friendly. And you can't seem to get to me. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. I do not like you guys. One bit. Doing anything, neither. neither oh, nope. You wanted. You want a piece of it. Going down. Ooh. Pint glass. Big old. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, that is. That's that's awesome. Too bad it's kind of clipping through the rock there, but uh, still pretty awesome. Oh, uh, oh, you are a big one, and I should have regular frag grenades. I could have swore that I kept some. Yep, I did. There we go. Merry Christmas. Oh. Ow, ow. Oh, ow. I am very hurt. Gonna do? I'm gonna do something stupid. Hello? Hello? Ah! Oh yeah, that was very dumb. That was that was so stupid. 
That was okay. I don't think it's really doing that much. Oh, fire. Fire. <laughs> God, there's a gas can sitting there. Uh, let's try you. Oh. Well, that worked. <laughs> And let's take a look at your treasure. More gold. We are rich. We are super, super rich. Oh, is that a note? Oh, dear reader. Dear reader, this morning my friend Malcolm and I removed the barrier of rocks from the cave entrance. We made our way through the tunnels until we found the buried treasure. There was so much gold. We are going to be rich. Malcolm took some of the gold and began to make his way back to the surface. I was about to follow him when there was a huge explosion outside. Rocks fell from the ceiling and crushed Malcolm to death. He's lying out there now. I don't know if I can bring myself to go back through the cave, I told my wife where we were going I just I'm just going to wait until someone sends help just in case it doesn't come in time tell my wife I love her Steve Clark okay sorry Steve and we will go back to the Institute and do the next memory you stay over there Okay, memory details, uh, subject Hank the Tank Spencer, date of scan, 23rd February 2077, gender male, relationship status single, occupation boxer, nationality U.S. white, the subject wishes to wishes us to note he is American born and raised. <laughs> okay. There we go. Loaded the memory. I don't know why it takes me several clicks to get that to work. And next one. Blinding white light. What? Shut up! I'm trying to watch the fight. Hank. Go on, hit him. Hank, yeah. Listen to me, please. No, not like that. God, fucking damn it! I had a hundred bucks on that fight. These punk kids are no good anymore. Not like in my day. Look, Hank, I'm going to stay at my sister's for a few weeks. Don't bother calling. Fine. Do whatever you like. See if I care. I kind of want to punch the guy. I'm going to punch his corpse. Unless he's a ghoul. He's probably a ghoul. We'll see. Either way, I'm going to punch him. I'm going to box the boxer. Okay. Hank the Tank. Undiscover the fate of Hank Spencer. Let's see where this is at. Again? Or... Wait, no, that's, uh, <laughs> that one. There we go. And that should be, I think, in the boxing area. Or, no? Over here. Over by Nahant ne 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 Chapel. Whatever. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. Okay, we're here. Uh, he's over that way. Uh, I don't think so. Oh!
Ooh, that was... Guys, no. Hold still so I can shoot you. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, looks like we found his house. Oh, oh, hello. Didn't know the neighbors were coming over today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I was gonna put away my gun so I can box him. Cause he was a very mean man. Knock, knock. Chained on the other side. Oh, it's chained. <laughs> Someone fell out of bed. Wow. <laughs> he destroyed this place, apparently. Okay, let's go down. Little Timmy. There you are. Mean man. Mean guy. Uh, suicide note. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. By the time anyone reads this, I, Hank the Tank Spencer, will be dead. Last month, Sue, my beautiful Sue, left me, and all I did was sit here. I spent my whole career fighting for things, fighting for belts and championship titles, but the one thing that mattered most to me in the world I wouldn't stand up and fight for. I've got nothing left to live for. It's like my whole world has fallen down and I didn't even realize it. Screw you, world. And let's see what little Timmy has. Padded blue jacket and nothing else. I'm guessing he uh, was probably a scavenger that uh, fell through the ceiling. So, yep. Okay. Moving on. Next story. Get my gun back in my hand. 